Welcome to TBM. Total Body Modification. The old tricks of the masters dressed up in new computer language. We can now do by intent what they always did by accident. Everything in our body is run by a biocomputer. We now know how to tap in and read the programs. And if they're running, leave them alone. If they're wrong, we can fix them. It's taken many years to put it together and learn how to activate it and use it. We have fun. But it started with my wife, Diane, she had a tubal pregnancy and had to go the medical route and they pumped her full of antibiotics and the normal sequelae of heavy antibiotic is leukemia. So she came down with leukemia. They gave her six months to live and she came back and says, I'm a nurse. I know what they do. I know it doesn't work and I know it hurts. I ain't going there. You either get me well or I'm out of here. So it took us nine months to get her a clean bill of health. And we figured if we could take care of this minor problem, what could we do with the common cold, flus, other minor problems? And we learned that there are no major problems. All minor problems are majors. So if your body is saying that you have a problem, don't ignore it get somebody to check it out because there are no minors and it will come back to bite you if you keep ignoring it. So I started out as a chiropractor. I got my naturopathic degree. I got my osteopathic degree and I practiced for 37 years and I had a lot of fun. We saw a lot of sick people. I love incurable problems because I don't believe any of them are incurable. We just don't know enough. Ankylosing spondylitis is one of my favorites. It may take an hour's work, but by the end of a 90 day period after one treatment, there's usually no spurring left and the patient has full range of motion and a full active life. So I love those. They're fun. MS, we have a program for that. And that if they have true MS, it takes about five minutes. It takes a little while longer for it to manifest, but it does manifest. And we have fun with it. So I started out studying with all of the old masters of chiropractic. Well, they were also connected with the old masters of osteopathy and naturopathy and some of the way out medical people were in their group and I qualified to be able to sit at their feet. I could go to dinner with them, to lunch, as long as I promised to keep my mouth shut, which I did. So I have knowledge that I've been exposed to I haven't used yet. So sometimes if you ask the right question, I can give you an answer. And it may be an answer I haven't seen for 50 years. But I can't tell you what that is now because you didn't ask the right question. But somewhere down the line you get in trouble, call me. Ask me the question and I probably will have an answer for you. It may not be an answer that you think because everything that you have studied is predicated on a dead body. And I've never seen a dead body get up and walk or get well. We're dealing with living bodies. In school we studied cadaver physiology, static physiology. We're dealing with functional physiology how the body seems to work at this particular moment. And it does work. If you don't put 
man's rules into it because there are no average no normals there are averages the blood pressure we're stuck with 120 over 80 150 over 100 300 over 200 are averages of a very small group of people off the streets of New York in the early 20s it's the three to two ratio that is the important part as long as that's in balance it's good blood pressure I've got a friend who runs 300 over 200 he's 6'5 280 pounds plays racquetball tennis skis water skis and somebody comes along and says, oh my god you're gonna have a stroke with that pressure and they promptly put him to bed and he gets there for about a couple of weeks and finally says that's it takes the medication flushes it his pressure goes back up and he's back out having fun he's perfectly healthy at that 300 over 200 doesn't need medication to bring it down that's man's rules you have normals I have normals and they are not always the same we have learned that there are two things that go wrong in the body and they're the precursor to everything else and if you have anything wrong in your body you have these two you're dehydrated because you do not drink water you'll drink beer booze milk juice tea anything but water and water is the only thing that counts everything in your body has to be diluted by water to function so it requires one quart of fifth to every 50 pounds of your body weight or any piece thereof so if you're 150 pounds that's three quarts 151 that's four quarts and if you're in Europe that's one liter to 24 kilos or any part of water is water and if you add one drop of lemon to kill the chlorine in the tap water it no longer is water the body deals with it as lemonade if you drink coffee straight black coffee the body must pull an equal amount of water out of its already dehydrated system to dilute it if you add sugar or cream that's a second cup if you add sugar and cream that's a third cup so one cup of white sweet coffee takes three cups of water from your already depleted body to process it so if your body is dehydrated and pushing mud you yank another three cups of water out of it you're no longer pushing mud you're pushing bricks no wonder you wrinkled your blood pressure is up your digestion doesn't work right you can't digest food with bricks that's what makes it fun because we can see miracles happen now not next month or next year right now that's what we love about TDM I don't claim it it's not mine I luckily got to put it together but I have borrowed techniques from everybody out there that has one that works we start out with Bob Riddler who started with AK same as I did and he figured AK was too much like work so he found touch points on the body that gave him an inclination of how the body function he figured out vertebral and soft tissue corrections for some of the work that he had Hal Hadley and I got together and found that some of Bob's work was great some was wrong and some didn't make any sense at all so we took what was good fixed what was wrong and then found a lot more so we have progressed since 1976 in adding body points learning more and we're constantly learning new things new combinations and putting it together one of the more recent is water utilization how we can use the water we do take in because when you don't have the proper programs in the computer the body goes and takes water in the mouth it builds a direct tube to the bladder and it drops 
one glass in, whoa, i got to go get rid of my glass of water on the bottom end. So we've learned how to make the body use it and not respond negatively.